What we've discovered is that aging is very likely a corruption of the software of the body. So that as we get older, the software doesn't function very well, things slow down, break, and we get diseases. In this new work, we show that we can actually reverse that process by tapping into a backup copy, rebooting the software into that old computer, opening up the possibility that one day we can rejuvenate our whole bodies. Dr. David Sinclair, co-director of the Paul F. Glenn Center for Biology of Aging Research at Harvard Medical School, describes a groundbreaking method that can speed up or reverse the aging of cells in the body, at least in mice. There's an old theory that mutations drive aging, and it's true that our DNA does get damaged and it does lead to changes in our genetic code. What we're proposing in this new study is that there's another type of information in the cell, in our bodies, called the epigenetic information, and that's the information that we think is a large driver of the aging process. Sinclair says that the process of aging works similarly to the way that software programs operate off hardware. Sometimes software becomes corrupted and needs a reboot. Through the process of gene therapy, cells in the body can be rebooted to restart the backup copy of epigenetic instructions. The epigenome consists of chemical compounds that mark cells and give them instructions for which genes to turn on and which to keep silent. This, in theory, erases corrupted signals that can cause cells to age and malfunction, making them youthful again. Well, we believe that there's a universal process that we've tapped into that works not just in mice, but probably in every human on the planet. And we all have the same program that allows our cells to be rejuvenated. In mice, we've reversed the age of their brains and they get their ability to learn again. And so what we're finding is that there's a universal backup copy of useful information in all animals and probably in us as well. The process is still in its infancy, so there's still a lot to be figured out. Sinclair says that his team has already begun the next step to lab test the system on non-human primates, human neurons, skin, and fibroblast cells. While this method won't stop the body from aging as a whole, it could target specific areas to reverse the effects of disease. The first disease that I want to treat is blindness. We are very easily able to reverse blindness in mice, and the results from the non-human primate studies will be out in the next few months. So we're very excited about being able to treat some diseases but if you allow your imagination to run wild, what it could mean is that we can reverse the age of any cell in any tissue, in any organ. And if that's true, then we should be able to rejuvenate large parts of the body, perhaps even whole body rejuvenation at some point. What's exciting about the work is that there are many labs around the world working on this new cause of aging and learning every week how to do resetting of the system even better than we are doing now. And so it's, even if my lab is not the one that's successful. There will be a lab around the world that succeeds in resetting the body and rejuvenating it. And so I'm really excited that within our lifetime, we're going to see the possibility that aging can be treated like any other medical condition.